brothers and sisters in this holy eucharist let us pray for all these following intentions diocese of barangal nermatta parish agapeta village this mass is offered for divyavani tv corpus fund donors erva papiridi late chinnamma on the occasion of birthday of twin erva Dikshit Reddy and Arshit Reddy for good health and good future. Thanking God for all the graces received by Augustine Reddy, Ranjitha, Rajitha, Erva Sundari, Father Bala, Dugimpudi, Mary, Tatvik, Delphi, Supritha, Summa, Andreas Reddy, Prakasamma, today's rosary, divine mercy chocolate, word of God, holy are, are also offered for this family and their intentions. Let us also pray for all the donors of the Divyavani TV. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today, in the gospel reading we are going to hear, the Lord is denouncing the Pharisees and the Sadducees, where the Pharisee who has invited Jesus to dine at his house, Jesus went to his house and he sat down. He was observing keenly what Jesus was doing. So he did not wash his hands and he sat, he was about to eat and he found the fault from Jesus. Then Jesus gave a beautiful answer to him. The man who made outside and the inside of the cup is the same. So the man who cleans the outside and also cleans the inside also. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, before we partake in this holy Eucharist, let us call to mind all our sins and ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything but only faith working through love. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses 1 to 6. Brethren, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Look, I, Paul, say to you that if you accept circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ, you who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we ourselves eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, Lord, let your mercy, Lord, Lord, let your let your mercy come upon me. Come, come upon, upon me. me. Lord, let your mercy come upon me, the salvation you have promised. Your response, Lord, let your mercy, Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy come upon me. Come, come upon, upon me. Never take the word of truth from my mouth, for I hope in your decrees. Your response, Lord, let your mercy, Lord, let, let your mercy come upon me. Come upon me. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Your response, Lord, let your mercy come upon me. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy come upon me. I shall walk on a spacious plain, for I seek your precepts. Your response, Lord, let your mercy come upon me. Lord, let your mercy come upon me. In your commands, I have found my delight. These I have loved. Your response, Lord, let your mercy come upon me. Lord, Lord let, let your, your mercy, mercy come, come upon me. I reach out to your commands, which I love, and ponder your statutes. Your response, Lord, let your mercy come upon me. Lord, let your mercy come upon me. to the Lord Sing Hallelujah to the Lord Sing Hallelujah Sing Hallelujah Sing Hallelujah to the Lord This is the day that the Lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad in it. Let us be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lord. According to Saint Luke, glory, glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 11, verses from 37 to 41. While he was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So he went in and took his place at the table. 
The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You fools, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel reading we have heard, Jesus was invited to dine with the Pharisee's house. The Pharisee was amazed to see because Jesus did not wash before the dinner. Then Jesus told them a beautiful answer. Now you Pharisee clean the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, the Lord wants from us the inside purity. Our heart should be pure. That's why we read in Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see the Lord. Our heart should be pure. Sometimes we are like that of our Pharisees. Always we look outside appearance. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 says, The man looks the outside appearance and judges, but the Lord looks your heart. The Lord knows your heart. The Lord looks your heart and the Lord judges. Therefore, we should not look outside appearance and judge a person. We should look the heart of the person. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1, verse 24 we read, The Lord knows all our hearts. The Lord looks into our hearts. Therefore, our heart should be pure. The Lord is inviting us to today make our hearts pure. Like that of David who prayed, Psalm 51, Lord, give me the contrite heart. Make my heart pure within. So, our heart should be pure within because our hearts are made for Him alone. Our hearts are made for God. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 we read. St. Paul says, Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of the Lord dwells within you. So the Lord is dwelling within us. The Spirit of the Lord with us. He, he dwells in our hearts. So today, the Lord is telling the beautiful answer to the Pharisee. The man who cleans the outside of the cup, will he not clean the inside of the cup? The Pharisees only always, they see, they follow the outside appearance and also always they do the works to be seen by others. The Lord says beautifully in Matthew chapter 23, the Pharisees sit on the Moses seat, therefore do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. That I have every burdens are to bear, and they lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, but they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. Always these Pharisees, they proclaim, but they do not practice. The Lord says, whatever they proclaim to you, you practice, but do not do whatever they do. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, these Pharisees are something always do, they do to be seen by others. But the word of God says, do it in secret. The Lord who sees in secret will reward you. If you read in Matthew chapter 5, verse 20, if you do not be like that of Pharisees and the scribes, before them you will be entered into the kingdom of heaven. Your righteousness should exceed. Let me read this for you. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 20, For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, 
you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, sometimes our hearts are not pure. The Lord is inviting us to become a pure. In today's first reading, we have heard, the Lord has called us to be free, set free. The Lord has set us free. Therefore, we are not the slaves to the sin and sinful nature. Therefore, we are freed. We are freed by Jesus Christ. And secondly, we need to abide in Jesus Christ. St. Paul is inviting us. We need to have the love of Christ in faith. We need to abide in Jesus Christ. Then, automatically, we receive the graces from the Lord. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, let us pray in this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Through our actions, through our deeds, we become polluted. We become something different, away from the Lord. We go astray from the Lord. Now, today, the Lord is telling, I will give you the new heart, a contrite heart. So, let us have the same heart which Jesus had, so that whatever Jesus did, whatever Jesus had, we will also do. For these graces, we pray in this Holy Eucharistic celebration. you take our hearts, we love you, take our life, oh Father, we are yours, we are yours, yours as we stand at the table you set, yours as we eat the bread of us can forget. We are the signs of your life with us. We are yours. We are yours. Take our bread. We ask you take our hearts. We love you. Take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you set as, sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands and he endured his passion. 
so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, we declare your glory as one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, who will Antonio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, St. Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already the there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Never 
Love 